We're turning up the heat and humidity these days, which increases our chance of thunderstorms like today. And that means the threat of lightning. Lightning strikes about 25 million times a year in the U.S. Eyewitness News meteorologist Logan Westrope has more in this week's severe weather handbook. When thunder roars, go indoors. It's a common phrase National Weather Service meteorologist John Banghoff reminds people this time of year. As thunderstorms near your home, so does the threat of lightning striking the ground. Even if the storm may seem far enough away, it's a risk you don't want to take. Another rule of thumb that we tend to use is you need to stay inside 30 minutes after you hear the last uh, rumble of thunder because that's going to allow you, basically allow the storm to clear out and ensure that you are safe to return to your outdoor activities. Southern states like Florida tend to have the highest amount of lightning strikes per year, but how exactly does the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania compare? Across the Central Mountains, there's a little bit fewer uh, lightning strikes, but as you head farther east, as you head up towards Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and even down uh, southeast towards Philadelphia, that's where you get a little bit higher likelihood of a uh, lightning. Let's say you happen to be outdoors as a thunderstorm approaches, remembering that taller objects tend to get struck first. In that case, get to the lowest area or ground level. Never hide under an isolated tree. Stay away from cliffs, rocky overhangs, fences, and windmills, and never be in or near a body of water. But what about if you're in a vehicle? Now, if you're in a car, you want to make sure you remain in the car and don't touch anything that's metal or the windows. The idea is that metal will conduct electricity, and if the car does get struck by lightning, it could be charged. Now, we typically hear the term heat lightning during the summer months. Kind of go into detail. Is that a common myth, or is that actually a fact? People tend to associate, oh, it's warm, it's muggy outside, I'm seeing light. That must be heat lightning. Kind of true, but there is always thunder with lightning. You may just not be able to hear the thunder because the storm is so far away. For Eyewitness Weather, I'm meteorologist Logan Westrope. You can find out more about severe weather by checking out our severe weather handbook on pahomepage.com.